heroes tonight for chasing after and capturing a man who was seen beating a woman inside a car. And this all happened along the I-205 bridge after the woman pulled over and her passenger started to chase her. Well, these two good Samaritans body slammed and hogtied that suspect after they saw him slap a second woman. Lisa Balick going beyond the headlines talking to one of those good Samaritans. Up there along the bridge by exit 14 is where they struggle to stop the man and they didn't hesitate to capture him after what they saw. And when you're out in the streets just punching a lady, that's, that's not going to happen and that's not okay. William Byram was driving to visit friends in Vancouver when suddenly traffic on I-205 screeched to a stop. Thinking there was an accident, he got out and ran over to people gathered on the other side of the highway. They said, that guy's hitting that lady. And I was like, that guy's not going to hit that lady anymore. So I ran over to him. He crossed back over uh, the lane to where my car was and where the other vehicles were stopped on, on the westbound side of the exit. Was he still chasing her at that point? He was, and, and I was right behind him. Um, I was trying to talk to him, you know, trying to reason with him, but he seemed pretty loaded. Next thing Byram sees is something that makes him react real fast. While I was trying to talk to him, he'd hit the lady, and that's when we were done. Um, I had grabbed him and we tussled a little bit and we got back towards the, the side of the bridge. A couple other guys joined in to help. Byram didn't want to see anyone going over the edge into the Columbia River. And we got him right at the corner of the bridge. Joey reached out and grabbed his hands and I lifted him up and body slammed him and got him on his back. This is the man arrested, 26-year-old Daryl Classen of Portland, who has multiple arrests including for failure to register as a sex offender and drug possession. Byram tells me he and Joey Thomas, another driver who jumped in, tied Klassen up with straps from a briefcase, making sure Klassen stayed put until police arrived. I'm not surprised I reacted that way. I'm pretty on point most of the time. Um, I'm just disappointed because, I mean, the dude's 26, and, you know, I've made my mistakes in life. You know, I haven't had a career, and I, I'm not making $100,000 a year, obviously. But I mean, there's so much more than to tweaking and being with the wrong girl and, and hitting people that don't need to be hit. Klassen now faces charges of reckless endangerment and assault. Along the Columbia River, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.